Good day, good day, good day, everyone. Well, the day has finally come. After visiting this location several times and the kind of up in the air, seemingly, nature, uh, what was going to happen, was some of it going to get saved, was, who knows, I know, you know, I don't know, what do you know? Uh, it is, the day has finally come that the old evangelical center that I used to live two blocks away from is finally in the early stages of meeting its demise so that these idiots based out of Florida can put as many homes in there as they can, tip the whole community on its side, and hopefully for them, make a lot of money in the process. Uh, one of the biggest things, probably even more of a cause for concern to people than even the buildings, some of which have been there since like the 1920s, uh, are the trees that are on, this, on site. I've heard that there's over 300 trees on the site. And as of yesterday, I think it's been going on over the past couple of days, they've cut down just about every single tree on site. It's just been logged into hell. So anywho, I'm going out there now to film the aftermath. A little circle around the outskirts of the property, show you what it looks like, maybe do a few comparison shots between what it looked like, even just pretty much like a week ago, to now. I can hear the, I can hear the chainsaws and whatnot. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. Good lord. Dang, there's just like, not really any words, just, just sucks. front of this tree. I wonder if these even belong to people anymore. Mm -hmm.
And so that area right there, that's the former main entrance to the property. Hence, there's the old kind of barrier around where the sign that said, I don't know if it just said Jennings Lodge Evangelical Center. I can't remember exactly what it said, but that was where the sign was. So you would like, if you're going to pull onto the property, that's where you'd pull in off of River Road, which is the main road. The rest of it, uh, you see from side streets because it covers a pretty decent sized property. Not big enough to justify putting a couple dozen houses in, but that's apparently the system these days. Um, so as far as I can gather, it seems the cutting started three, four days ago, pretty much right when August started. It's kind of what I'm gathering. That was when I first started seeing the postings uh, on the internet saying, well, it's finally started. And I'm just going to go up to Jennings up here and then turn down and do kind of a general circle around the property and capture a visual of what it looks like now compared to what it used to look like. I don't know if you can see it, but there's all these birds circling in the sky over here. They're probably so freaking confused. There's all these trees they used to perch on. They're going, yeah, I can see some people across the street like looking towards the property just like well there goes our community I'm gonna creep under this tree here ow there's phony bushes in here and spider webs apparently yeah look at this this is I know there was already some demolition stuff going on here and there I think used to be a house here. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna remind myself when I get back. You can see there's the foundation. And even like these little trees, like this little tree's been knocked down. And these smaller ones are still here. They're probably gonna leave these smaller ones because they take up a lot less space and they're easier to build houses around. Act like we're humanitarians because we're leaving a few extra trees. There's just birds up there, they just go absolutely insane, they don't know where to land. There's where a lot of these big trees, yeah, because this was very, there was a little bit of open space by this house, you know, for a yard and whatnot. This one's obviously being prepared to get cut down. It's so weird, like, I didn't realize this house and this place over here were so close to each other, it's almost like these trees just kept everything separated. My just unreal. I saw a security guy back there and he's just like sitting on his phone. He's probably so unhappy to have to be like a part of this. And there's, I think that's that big dorm building that I read about. It dates back to like the 1928 or something. Yeah, and see, these ones are being also prepped to get hacked down. Oh, God, it's so... Yeah, look at all these birds. They're all over the sky. I mean, I'm really zooming back, but if you zoom in close enough, yeah, you'll just see birds scattering. That just makes it all the more tragic. Just the fact that, like... These birds are suddenly <laughs> perplexed. Yeah, there's a few trees still standing on the end. I'm guessing because these are so close to the street, they have to take other precautions to cut those down since, I mean, there is a street right here and then homes and whatnot across the street. And this place is still standing here. I'm wondering, it's probably not gonna be much long at all after they get these trees knocked down that they're gonna tear these buildings. I mean, look at how overgrown this is. I remember the first time I walked by here, you could see the whole front of this, but I mean, I guess if they're just gonna demo everything, you know, who cares? It's essentially the ongoing perspective. 
I remember walking by this fence and like it was just this thin little pathway between here just lined with trees. There's a chapel over there. And yeah, there's there's no real concerns given at all for this area because I mean, look at it. They're just I mean, a lot of these buildings have been further damaged just from trees and debris and whatnot falling on them. Here's a view I can gauge over the this rip in the fence, which this this is really cheap crappy fence for the record. I remember just kind of walking up to it and putting my camera against it and it was like I could feel it just fold in my hands. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be back out here before this is all gone. I really don't know. God, look at the size of this tree that was here. Yeah, look at that. Pretty impressive. Yeah. These guys, yep, these guys are being prepped to go as well. Look, there's even a, there's a little bird's nest up there. And of course, with them hacking trees and whatnot, the uh, private property, no trespassing signs have become much more aggressive. You will be prosecuted. So you will note I'm not hopping the fence. Yeah, God, I just, I can't get over these birds circling in the sky. I mean, what better kind of, geez, I don't know, representation of how just messed up this is you know, this is us just kicking environment in the face and just saying, hey, you know what? We don't really care, guys. And there were so many trees here. I guarantee there were birds that regularly perched here. There were probably nests in some of these trees. And some of these birds are probably wondering what the hell happened to their nest. And this is here. I've seen this every time I've been here. This, like, cabinet that's been kind of abandoned back here. And a little bit of furniture. And then you come towards, the road starts angling down, wraps around towards the river. This is where I discussed in my other video, um, I think I called it the abandoned complex that will soon be gone, and now those words are having prophetic new meaning, as the process has officially begun. Um, and I was talking in particular about the back side of the property, because it doesn't show up great on camera, but the road begins to angle down, and the more it angles down, the more this becomes a um, hillside. Wouldn't surprise me if they filled in a lot of this to add more land to the end, just so they'd have more space to work with, but I'm telling you, and I stand by what I said in my other video, where I was saying, you know, one of the biggest problems is, you know, you have a Florida-based company who's bought up this property and they have all these plans on what to do with it and they're from Florida you, you can't get any further away from the Pacific Northwest than Florida and they don't understand our climate clearly because you know every couple of years we get a really rough winter you know all it takes is one crazy winter or one crazy flurry of weather or one crazy storm you know we're not that close far away from the Willamette River it's right down there I mean look at this land Landslides could easily happen in this area. And that's what these developers out of Florida do not understand. And yeah, see, these are probably some of the last trees still standing uh, on the back side of the property. Again, they're getting all the stuff in the middle of the property and all the stuff that's near the street and homes that they probably have to take further precaution, precautions with. They are obviously saving for the end. So yeah, I just wanted to come out here and do a quick a quickie visit to this old property. This will probably be the last time I see it before these buildings get demoed unless that takes longer than I project it will considering the fact you have developers 
ready to cram a bunch of houses here. It will not surprise me that a lot of this stuff just gets knocked down as quick as possible. You got the old auditorium here. Has a lot of history to it. There's kind of a little, I don't know what that building is, a little building in between. And then here's the chapel, a lot more history. But who gives a shit? <sighs> People probably had some hope when the process was kind of beginning and then apparently the Army Corps of Engineers came in and was like, we're gonna examine this property, figure out if it's really justifiable to demo this place. There's a bunch of historic buildings here. There's still a lot of them. Of course, they're getting to more and more debris dropped on them. Even I had a little bit of hope that maybe something would get salvaged, but within a day or two of hearing about that whole Army Corps of Engineers, oh, there's, there's been a stay of execution of this property. They're gonna look into it. When I came out here after hearing about that, uh, that hope I had dwindled pretty quickly. And the reason for that is there had already been so much damage done out here. And I'm not talking about the crazies that came out here and vandalized the property and tagged it up and stuff like that. I'm talking about people, obviously construction people or whoever, demolition people were told to come out here and just get to work. Because when I came out here, they'd already demoed a couple, that house way down there where I saw the foundation. That had already been demoed. Um, you can still kind of see it, probably not from here, but the big dorm building it's right there way off in the distance that had been used by like firefighters for practice it's gotten tagged up the windows are all I mean a lot of the windows look like they were probably busted out already but yeah they did their practicing in there which I'm assuming probably put the place into a bit of a shambles and that's one of the oldest buildings still standing out here um, you know it was blatantly obvious, even from out here, that a lot of work was already being done. And I'll tell you right now, this house right here, I spoke to a gentleman who lived like across the street, or at least he was standing across the street, and he told me that his parents, I mentioned this I think in my other video, but he told me that his parents had lived in and owned this house for a long time, so they got married there, and they had not gotten proper justification to do anything to this house and when I spoke to the gentleman it was after the Army Corps of Engineers stepped in and was like we're gonna examine this property blah 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 and even by that time you could tell um, many windows had been broken out and the guy was the guy told me like I I've seen all the stuff that they did to damage the home that they're like n weren't allowed to do yet and he was kind of implying that he might try to make a little trouble for them in that vein like you know, I mean, why wouldn't he? I would probably do the same thing in his situation. I would do anything to stop this nonsense from happening. As far as I'm concerned, that whole Army Corps of Engineer thing was probably a ruse. It was, okay, we'll delay the demo a little bit. We'll make it, we'll have some organization look into the historical whatever. We'll make it look like we did our best to try and save it. And I just think it was all a ruse because they were already out here demoing stuff. So I don't believe for a second that when that whole Army Corps of Engineer thing started happening and it was like, maybe we'll be able to save something. I, once I came out here and saw the condition of stuff that uh, it's just abundant, nobody cared. And so many places were so beaten up that it was like, you know, even if a lot of these buildings are old, they're so beat up that the people looking into the historical significance of them might just be like, well, they're too far gone. It's, let's just let it go. Obviously, I don't know if that's, <laughs> those are their words, their conclusion, but I just, I think that was a ruse more than anything. That was an effort to try to appease people and make it look like they care about our community. So we tried our best to save it, but in the end, we're going to do what we said we're going to do. <laughs> it's what they all do. If you don't think <laughs> business, business people developers if you think they don't function that way that they don't just try to play with your minds to make you think they're so great and that they really do care when they don't give two shits uh it's time to wake up especially if you're in portland if you haven't figured out that developers are a disease on this city then you're either not paying attention 
Are you just dumb? It's the brass. It's the security. I don't know. This guy is so bored. <laughs> he just kind of moves from one stump to another. I think I remember seeing this last time, but yeah, I remember. This is like a little roof piece that was over, like you can see kind of through here. That's where that used to be attached. Ah. Son of a gun. I'm just doing one final walk by of the front side of the property before I say goodbye. Probably forever because I don't see how I'll have the time to really come back out here. I mean, obviously, someday down the road I'll pass. I'll probably come back when they're turning this into some ridiculous housing development. But as far as these buildings that are here now, it's probably the last time I'm going to see them. I didn't notice when I walked by this house before, but there's all this like trash on the grounds, probably all stuff that got moved out of the house. Confined fit. Enter by permit only. So yeah, here's the old, here's the old, I guess this is the old address, too. Covered in stuff. There's some recent demo trees. Yeah, this one building, I'm guessing it looks just kind of like housing of some kind. And the whole end like right there has just been knocked down. I'm guessing a tree hit it there. And there's all those birds. Still chop, chop, chopping away. Yeah, that house right there or cottage, I don't know. It's got just stuff strewn all over it. It's kind of a little a little house right there that's cute. It's actually got like, it almost looks like the bushes have been kind of maintained. And then this thing, yeah, it just got the side of it. Now, yeah, there's tree debris all over it here. That obviously got hit by a tree. So, of course, I'm lingering in front of the main gateway in, and it appears a truck is pulled up. There's two trucks with it. It's got the oversized load sign on it. I'm guessing he's pulling in to pull some logs out of this place. fence is open. Should I just run for it? Should I just book it? Should I throw caution to the wind? <sighs> Alright guys, well... <sighs> it was bittersweet. And it's ending. But, uh... Yeah, it's about all I got. 
from out here at the former site, uh, I'm soon to be the former site of the Jennings Lodge Evangelical Center. Uh, what's left of the building still standing, I'm sure is going to mostly get crumpled by trees and whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I just swallowed a fly. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Probably my final take. I took a lot of pictures. I pretty much just used my GoPro just to take uh, photographs of the scene. I'm going to post a lot of photographs um, you know, on my Facebook page, wherever else. I'll probably post them or share them to stop demolishing Portland because this has kind of been the big thing there. Um, kind of the big demolition story of the week and there's so many of them around here. We're not even in Portland right now, but I mean it's like Portland's kind of the central hub and it's just slowly expanding to the outer communities. There's not a whole lot of demos going on out here in the Jennings Lodge Gladstone area. But as someone who's lived in this area, who lived in this area for the better part of the last decade, I can see when the shift is beginning to slowly happen to where that's going to start happening more out here and that has definitely started in the last two years or so. So I honestly wish the housing market in Portland would just dry up sometimes, you know, which isn't great for the city, but it's, it maybe scares some of these freaking developers off. Anyway, guys, till next time, this has been Steve, the Amateur Historian.